everybody. Welcome to Monday. It's another Monday these days and I've come around quick, haven't they? I've already talked about how time flies faster and faster in theatre. Oh dear. And um, just a week... Uh, hasn't a lot of things come to light. But we can't talk about most of them. It's a shame, isn't it? We never get... Well, we get a bit political because the two are linked, as we've said before. But, um, you know, the pandemic, theatres closing, government issues, pol politics, that kind of thing. But um, Martin Bashir, Dominic Cummings, there's so much that we could talk about, isn't there? Perhaps one day we'll just have to throw caution to the wind and do it. But, um, never mind. What about Eurovision, eh? <laughs> Nil point. Everyone's saying, or, or lots of people are saying, why don't we just leave Eurovision now? And it is true, perhaps we should leave Eurovision because that is political, well it always has been isn't it, political voting. But that's from the juries, I would have thought that the public vote would be different. The public vote ought to give us, I mean if we scored nil point from the public vote and the jury votes, then um, we must have had a crap song. Why, why can't we understand what it takes to have a good Eurovision score. I don't understand it. Bucks Fizz have done it. Katrina and the Waves did it. Why can't we understand what it takes? It's really weird, isn't it? And I know a lot of theatre people out there, musical theatre people especially, do Eurovision. And um, what a great show that is. The Eurovision... Um, the, the musical theatre play when you have to... You, you you know all the public all the audience get to vote and your votes get counted and all that kind of stuff it's great it's great and um we've just done a review from the showstoppers they've just done the alternative eurovision song contest which was excellent but anyway um we did our first review on friday night back in the fold i, I say our first review it wasn't our first review because we have, we have a reviews team all over the country, about 90 to 100 people or so around the country dotted around that want to do it. By the way, if you want to get involved in reviews, just email us, sardine, um, news at sardinesmagazine.co.uk. Look, news at sardinesmagazine.co.uk, right there. And we'll, um, we'll take it forward. Okay? But um, I went on out my first review back into the West End of London. It wasn't an amateur show, it was a professional show. It wasn't even a real, really a play or a musical. It was literally a concert, a gig, at the um, Shaftesbury Theatre, where Anne's Juliet should be playing at the moment, but it isn't, it hasn't come back yet. And it was Abba Mania, and it was, it was fantastic. It was just like a Mamma Mia without the storyline. It was superb. The performers are absolutely brilliant, brilliant. And the West End is as good as it gets. That is the top level that we're all aiming for, the West End of London, West End and Broadway. It's, it's, it's as good as it gets, and that's it. And um, I wanted to mention it because that's how we're gonna get our doors reopened. Um, at the moment, we all have to wear face masks in the theater. Now. When I went Friday night, the first thing I noticed is that we're, we were all positioned behind a row of people that are also seated. So that was a bit weird. I thought they had to block out every other row if you're socially distancing, but apparently not. At the Shaftesbury Theatre, they fitted as many people legally in as possible. And it's interesting that half those people kind of throw caution to the wind and to just take their masks off and enjoy the show and the theatre staff don't really have the power to do much if half the audience are going to take their masks off because if you're eating and drinking you're allowed to take your mask off and what's, what's going to happen then you know you, all you have to do is have a drink down beside you I suppose um, and half, the other half of the people are probably a bit nervous and that's the half I was in I had my mask on and I was looking round, just doing that British thing, tutting at people 
that, that were throwing caution to the wind, taking their masks off. But you wonder how we're going to get back to normal if we don't start to accept the people that are going to just throw caution to the wind. I think I think we're going to get to a stage when we have to do that, otherwise we won't be able to enjoy shows like we used to. We'll never be able to get back to normal. So at some point we have to get that nervousness out of our system. And the only way we're going to do that is by plunging in, diving into the deep end, going to see a show. You have to go and see a show, so why don't you go and see a couple of professional shows before before you try and reopen your doors? I don't even know if amateurs can reopen, actually. I was reading something that I think Noda actually posted, um, the latest government guidelines on non-professional performing arts, because it's not a job, it's a hobby. Are we still restricted to 30 people outdoors and 6 people indoors? I've got a feeling we might be, if you're amateurs at the moment, but I don't know. I'm sure it's something like that still for non-professionals but we'll have to catch up with that we'll have a good look and we'll post something up there we'll post the latest government guidance but I'm sure it until the 17th of June comes round when hopefully we can scrap all social distancing altogether I've got a feeling it is still 30 outdoors for non-professionals and only the rule of six indoors and it's all about bubbles and all that kind of thing so there we go. I mean, I was on my own there Friday night at the review, but it's interesting how how there was there were obviously people that were there that weren't in the same bubble because there were groups of eight people that all seemed to know each other and were hugging and stuff. You telling me that eight people all live together? I don't think so. And all the same age. It's really weird, isn't it? But anyway, you wonder who's in the wrong. Are we in the wrong for trying to be a little bit British about it and tutting and looking next to us at who's breaking the law? Or are we doing the right thing to do that? And um, should we tut at the people who are taking their masks off and saying, oh, let's just get back to the way things used to be? If we've all had our vaccines, who's the crazy ones? It, there's a lot to think about, isn't there? And um, a lot that we can't or avoid rather a lot that we avoid giving our opinion on because um perhaps we shouldn't i don't know perhaps we we should get a bit more political but um let us know let us know what you think anyway that's it for now welcome back we've got another week in front of us stay safe stay well we will be back see you later